Today we eat the food of the dead. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy Halloween. Hey, candy day! As you can see, we decided not to dress up this year. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also sorry that on the way here, our shirts and jacket sleeves got sucked up in a freak windstorm. Totally by accident. Yeah, and I guess we also kind of look like the iconic duo Ken and Ken. Old Ken and Ken. Either way, today we celebrate the spookiest day of the year by facing our own mortality. Yes, the biggest regret I have about not being able to one day enjoy my own funeral is that I'm not gonna get to see what kinds of food is being served. And it oh. turns out countries and cultures all over the world have their own funeral food traditions and today we're facing them dead in the eye. It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International Funeral Foods Come From? The Mythical Kitchen Whoa, has recreated. Did, you, you see how close you got to just poking me with that? Like it, No, I didn't, I'm not wearing my glasses. It went through my hair. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. he grabbed my arm! He grabbed my arm! The Mythical Kitchen has recreated a lineup of funeral dishes from all over the world. I'll stab you in the kidney if Now you when I me. say funerals, uh, I'm also including wakes and annual celebrations of the dead that we may not be familiar with. Okay. We're gonna throw a dart at the country we think those dishes come from and Chase the Underchaser cartographer is gonna measure how far wow. we are from the correct answer. Hello, Underchaser. Yeah, can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was so good, Chase. Yeah. That was so I'm good. It was so good. You've yeah. been practicing. Yeah. It's, it's that time of year, man. I don't know what it is about Halloween, but it just, you know, there's an energy e everybody in Everybody yeah. just gets, you know, just looks their best. Lowest score wins. Uh, now, since I won last time and the previous five times before mm -hmm. that, uh, Link gets the special advantage dart, the shallow grave dirt dart. And the loser of today's game must deliver a one minute eulogy of the winner in Good Mythical More. Now, dearly beloved, let us feast. All right, so some there's some stew. carrots, and I'm gonna try what the meat is. Mm. That's nice, boy. That's good meat. Mm -hmm. Got some beans here. Beans in the rice, carrots in the stew. Man, what is that? Somebody must have died. Mm. Mm. That is the only good thing about a relative dying. Comfort food. You know, you want comfort food, when they're coming through. Um, Man, that's so hearty. So, d did I hear correctly that I haven't won in a while? So you're going first. Yeah, five plus one. Do you know how many that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> six. <laughs> Underchaser says six. Six, he says. When I tasted the stew, I thought to myself, Zimbabwe. When I saw the beans and rice, I thought to myself, Jamaica. Hmm. I have had something in, in um, Trinidad and Tobago. You were there. It was roti. Remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah. That was it like was goat. Sort of, oh. And we ate it in a mall. I, I remember that. And you wrap it in a pita and it had bones in it. I think it might be Jamaica. All right. Oh, oh gosh. That's it, a horrible is it, throw. Is it that you're yeah, you, you yes. bulked up? No, listen. This, the, <laughs> the fact that yeah, I lost my sleeves earlier today in that accident, and I suddenly gained a little muscle that you prepare yourself, it's a, it's a different throwing motion. It's a different throwing motion. Um, shoot, man. Is that is that a little bit of bean in the rice? Yep. That's so tasty. I don't know, I don't think this is Jamaica. That Everything's got a little bit of spice to it around Jamaica, right? It could be Argentina, but you know what I think it is? Mongolia. Okay. I think it's Mongolia. So I'm going way over there. Well, that would be a great opportunity to take a big lead. I gotta win one of these one day. Oh, oh yeah, hey, hey. I'm feeling it. Here's the only thing about my accident that I had earlier is that I'm just a, I'm sort of a big man. Oh. So I gotta pull your can britches up, boy. Yeah, you know, I, everyone has an outer belly button, and then some people have an inner belly button, and my inner belly button is there. Stevie, uh, tell me it's Mongolia. 
You just had goat curry, usually served with rice and beans and seasoned goat with plenty curry. of spice. It can be made in large quantities, which is why it's often served at large family gatherings, including funerals in Jamaica. How did you freaking you? you? I mean, I didn't throw it well. <laughs> Meant to do that. All right, if you can smell what the under chaser is measuring. The under teacher? The under, under chaser. chaser. He's under chaser. That's his thing. Yeah, I'm doing under chaser catchphrases and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Rhett, and, 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 and and stuff. And Rhett has 18, and uh, Link has 50. Oh, oh, that's. You could have missed the board and tied that. Oh, look, we got a pie here. Oh, yeah, give us a slice. Ken. You wanna share this pie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just eat this one slice here. Oh, I love the crust. Cinnamony. Raisiny. That's a raisin pie. Is that a raisin? I, I can't see details. When I go full Ken, everything's a little blurry. Well just trust me, they're raisins, I think. Where are they gonna be eating raisins in their pie? I bet you they're not from Jamaica. Well, I live in the United States of America. I've been to several funerals, but I've never had a raisin pie. I can't say it's fabulous. The crust is good. Well, it's a crust. Is that, Trevor, is that you did the crust? Congratulations. Trevor really knows his way around a crust. Um, Calm down. Oh, where would they do this? Where is this taste something? I have my answer. I'm not gonna change it. I'm not even gonna listen to your answer. Okay, I'm gonna say Greece. Blah, blah, blah. And the reason I'm gonna say Greece is because it's the closest to the Middle East. In it, the Middle East, they I've, I've had like rice that had raisins in it. So I'm just going with somehow the, they got influence over there. I gotta take into account my extra muscles today. Ooh, nice throw, nice toss. Now, now. My answer was Estonia because the word Estonia means stone people. And as you know, the uh, stone fruit is a raisin. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I've just been so bad at this game. It's cool how you tried to seem like, smart for a second. Like you say stuff and then you guess and it's right. And even if you don't throw right, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Well, you should study me more. Like, but I'm gonna stick to my guns. Okay. Estonia. Before you throw that though, I do want to say I didn't know if I was going to bring this up, but it's been kind of a thing this week. You know week what? Then don't bring it up because I have the, a feeling. Uh, no, I, know I have is. to bring it up. It's about Herb, specifically the ghost of Herb, has been following me around this mythical place. I know that you can't see Herb, but she's been around and she's been really she's almost haunting me. See, I mean, things what? like that are happening. Oh, there she is. Hey guys. I'm still so sad. You see how you see how so sad. Where why are you sad, Herb? Because this jerk killed me. I'm so sad, and I'm actually sad and mad at the same time, and I can't reconcile these emotions. You know what? You see what you've done, Herb. I figured that you would come back around. That I thought I needed to be prepared for this. Prepared for what? What are you talking for about? For your return. So. Oh you, no! What is it? Oh no! No! I'd like to introduce you to uh, Mr. Dirt Devil. Oh no! Hi, I'm Mr. Dirt Devil. Oh. I want to be your friend. Can I give you a kiss? <laughs> now I'm inside of this vacuum. Oh, it's so cramped in here. That's where you belong. I want to say something, but I don't have a wrestling reference that I, works with Yeah, it's tough blows. to come up with them in situations yeah. like that when you're seeing yeah. a bit like that. Estonia. Whoa! Oh. See? Not being able to see does help my throwing ability. That was good, man. The Give dish the you just yeah. tasted is actually called funeral pie. Made with raisins, some people say the pie's overwhelming sweetness temporarily relieves grieving families who bite into it. Its recipe allows it to be made on short notice and to travel well on long journeys. Just a part of the reason it has a long history at Amish funerals here in the U.S. What? I told you I haven't been to one, though. Is the United States on this map? I didn't even notice that. That's why I said I live in the U.S., but I have never seen. And that was the whole point. I was wondering it was, why. Because it, it was up there. You can't see me, the under chaser. That was, that, was, that was the best one yet, Chase. Do your yeah. thing, man. Do your Link thing. had uh, 
37, Rhett had 42. I, I beat you that round. You did, you can, you're, coming, you're coming back. Oh, we got some cabbage leaves and a, some oh, dill. I just thought it dill. was an egg roll. Like, it is, it is a cabbage. And oh. then some white sauce. Is it sour cream or is it yogurt? It looks like yogurt. Sour cream. Mm. It's a juicy cabbage roll with, I have to go totally on taste here, because I. What is that? It's a strange flavor of meat. Um, I gotta get a better taste of that. Because that's good though. Damn, I'm. It is sour cream. It's like weird. It's good. And then what's, what's the other stuff there? The sour cream is really throwing me off. Because if it was yogurt, I'd be in the. You'd be thinking like Greek yogurt. I'd be thinking in the in the Greek area. Grecians. I mean, actually, there's quite a bit that's still keeping me in Greece. That's what I'm thinking. Um, because you've got the the beef, you've got the rice, you've got the dill, you've got a dipping sauce for cabbage leaves. But I've never been to a Greek restaurant and gotten any any like a cabbage roll. I've had a cabbage roll at uh, like a Middle Eastern place before. Again, that's not an option. You gotta go Greece, because I got no better guess. That's, all right, so what do I do now? Do I, do I try to get closer to Greece? Because the only thing I got going for me today is my accuracy hmm. um, and my tan. But I could also, descend my lack of a lead by going for something like Mongolia again. Yeah, that's true. You could go right back to Mongolia. I got it. I got to try for Greece. It was what I was thinking. It's what you were thinking. I'm I'm not that far behind. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you got a little you got a little slippage. It might be Zimbabwe. We don't know. Zimbabwe is just as I good hope of a it's guess. Zimbabwe, and you know I'm gonna try to keep it positive. Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it positive. I mean, look at us. We've been working out together. It's really, she's really paying off. Okay, you just sun ate tanning. Go ahead. cabbage rolls. Yep. Immediately after burials in this origin country, there's a small feast of pastries, wine, and vodka held in the graveyard. After that, it's time for another feast in the home of the mourning family, where a traditional dish of cabbage leaves stuffed with ground beef or veal and rice is served. And this all takes place in Estonia. 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 I guessed that earlier you for did. something else. Yeah, for something else because of the stone people. Rhett, you had 17. Link, 26. Oh yeah! So he's kind of doing multiple, he's doing multiple wrestling references there, because I mean, The Undertaker has a few things that he can do. He's kind of going through all the popular things. Just don't, why, why you're saying everything that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Link is losing badly. Hey, check out the Rhett and Link U2's collectible. Uh -huh. This thing is us doing our semi-famous red carpet pose, which yep. we originated back in our high school prom days. This high quality vinyl figure is available to the third degree members. Today is the last day to join third degree monthly in yes. order to get this thing. And you know what? We'll, we'll make it a little easier for you. If you wanna join third degree and get this thing, again, it has to happen today, and we'll give you 15% off. Today only. No, we can't. It's a do flash that. sale. We can't. 15 do that. off third degree Are we doing that? Go to mythicalsociety.com and you will get this. Pretty awesome. Link, look at this white Christian mound. <laughs> okay. So it is kind of like a burial mound. It's, it does have the cross on it. That's a hint. So it's like some sort of a looks like it's some sort of a Catholic cross. Let's taste it. Well, usually um as opposed to Jesus is on the Catholic cross, but I do agree with you that oh, the what? Catholics are a little cross crazy sometimes. What's happening to it? What is this? It's almost like a fruit cake. It's nutty. It's, it's a bunch of nuts and raisins and fruit. It's chewy. Pomegranate? Is there pomegranate? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm really at a severe disadvantage. You can't see? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
but I'm I'm committed to the kin. And I need an excuse for losing so poorly. It doesn't have anything to do with my knowledge of world cuisine. Have some Ghirardelli. Oh, is that a hint? They probably don't use Ghirardelli. So, some place where there's Catholic folks who like pomegranate and raisins, feels like that could be Ireland. All right, go go for Ireland, man. No, but I'm actually I'm I feel better about either Peru or, or Argentina, which are heavily Catholic, because this feels more Catholic to me. So I think I'm just gonna do the safe play, split the difference between Ireland and Peru and Argentina. But there's two countries on the south, so I'm gonna split a little bit closer to the south. Okay. Is that where you wanted to go? Because that's that was pretty good. Yep, that's where All I was. Right, so you gave me some hints here. You were thinking that it was Ireland, but then you were thinking it's Peru and Argentina. Yeah. So I'm going for Zimbabwe. <laughs> I mean, yep. the Christian religion has made its way into so yep. many places around Pretty the world. Pretty much everywhere. Certainly Zimbabwe is, is no exception to the, the missionary experience, you know? So let me position my dart on Zimbabwe. Or just Africa in general. Didn't you you have it you have a cheat dart though? I forgot to use it. <laughs> no, I got one more round. I use it next round. Okay. Well, all right. What you just had is called Kaliva, which is a mixture of grains and seeds sweetened with honey or sugar. The whole grain of the wheat plant used in this dish is meant to symbolize everlasting life. Orthodox Christian families honor the memory of deceased loved Orthodox. ones with the special dish, which is served at funerals scattered throughout the Balkans and Russia, but especially in Greece. Uh, Greece? So this is that was an Orthodox cross. Uh, yeah, well, because again, the Catholic cross, a lot of times is a crucifix that has Jesus on it. This would have like a Jesus figurine on it, and we probably wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do when under chaser mania runs wild on you? We're gonna listen to the measurements. <laughs> Rhett head, 22. And Link had 10. Hey! I've won two rounds so far. What do we have here? Well, it looks like pho, but this right here, my friend. Oh gosh. What is that? It's, it's, yeah, take a bite of that. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's just it's actually not as bad as it could be. It's straight up blood, man. Taste taste it. It's 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 not the worst. Well, you certainly made it seem <laughs> it's not as bad as you think it might be. You might like it. Especially when you get the juice on it. And then what's this one? <clears throat> You're right. Fat. Taste that one. It's not the worst. <laughs> uh. You're right, that wasn't as bad. Yeah. Especially if you get it down in the juice. That's pretty good. And then this one, the darkest one. The chewy is. That's just beef. And then. That's the best one. We got some very, very strong chili paste. Spicy, spicy. And some, some bean sprouty. I mean, this just looks like unexpected pho. Mystery Number round. 17, I'll have the unexpected pho. Yeah, it's got everything in it. You're, um, I'm gonna use my shallow grave dirt dart. Now, because you have one, two rounds, Link, you're only 24 centimeters down, which yeah. that's actually easily overcomable. You're shaking in your boots. Oh, and you know what? I meant to ask you. Are you smooth down there, too? Let me see. Wait. <laughs> I mean, underneath that, in the jeans. Don't you wish it's, you could do that in real life? Smooth all the way around. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do that if you were feeling a little self conscious? Yeah. <laughs> let go, let go. Oh let go. gosh, that is. That is. No! <laughs> yeah, oh. smooth down there. Oh, oh me too, man. Talk about a Ken doll. <laughs> Easy to clean. Hey, you want me to do that to Easy you? Easy to clean. No. Woo! All right. Well, it was pretty so, fun. For I, me. I'm going to go second. Uh, any place that's not marked on the map, fair game, well, Ken. I'm sure that this type of cuisine has spread to different parts of the, the world, but I only know this type of 
spicy noodle soup with various meats in it as being something from, uh, from Vietnam, so an Asian country. So I'm just gonna try to go for basically just kind of the Vietnam area. Good luck with that! Yeah, that, was a, that was a horrible herb impression. Okay. Oh, oh. Not great, not great. You know what is great? A handful of salt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make sure this is all messed up because I got 24 centimeters to make up. In yeah, this I mean, I, you could, you could definitely. And if I nail it, I gotta get closer and hope. Uh, I don't think you're 24 centimeters away from Vietnam, but I gotta give it a shot. Um, oh! Oh. <laughs> Did you Goodness. see that? Okay. That's the most uh, spread I've ever had. That's an incredible trust coverage. Me, I can spread. I mean, that's basically. I feel good about that. Across the whole map. Right. Right. Okay. Oh. This is called Boon Ba Wei. It's a hearty, spicy beef noodle dish with larger round noodles, pork hocks, and coagulated pork blood, and it's served at funerals in, you guessed it, Vietnam. Way to go, Rhett. I mean, okay, I right. swear, I can't, I can't be too down on you yeah. when you're actually good at I'm it. I'm pretty good at this game, you know? Link. I'm pretty good. I, did I nail it? <clears throat> now, if I could take a moment to just be serious here. My grandma was a wrestler, and she passed away a few years ago, and I really, really miss her, so this was a really fun homage, and uh, yeah, that's that's all I got for you. But, uh, Chase, Rhett, oh, and He's not lying. I've seen yeah. pictures the of Latin his scrappy cat. grandma. Yeah. Boston Crab was her signature move. Uh, My grandma's dead, too. It's a uh, funeral episode. Yeah, yeah. It's I, a theme. I've got, hey, I've got two dead grandmas. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I still have one that's alive. <laughs> okay, who's not in the club anymore? <laughs> Way to brag. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rhett, you had 10, and Link, you got zero. Yes! Yay! It, but I still didn't win. You've won three rounds, though, but that's oh, not how we score Three rounds, y'all. That's not how three we score this. Three rounds. Is that the majority of the rounds? But you know I what that means? I got something to feel good about. Uh, you've lost seven times in a row now. I think maybe next time we give Link, let's just get more creative with our cheats. How about that? I mean, I mean, so I've, eight, an eight time. I'm okay. Eight time, I'm okay. Just, I would just I'm feel okay. Bad. Yeah, well, it, was really, it, it, it was really close. But right? I am looking for a one minute eulogy from you to me in Good Mythical More. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey there, Red and Link. The name's Christian from North Carolina. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Happy Halloween, dude. I like that. Click the top link to watch us play Would You Rather Funeral Edition in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Today is the last day to join Third Degree Monthly to get the Rhett and Link U2's collectible. Visit mythicalsociety.com.